Now with a local legend from my hometown of Houston who is lending a hand to families in desperate need of shelter from the cold. Jim Mattress Mac McInvale has opened one of his gallery furniture stores to help the hundreds of thousands of Texans who have been without heat, power, or water for days. He joined us from that store, turned shelter now. And Jim, thank you so much for what you for, for joining us this morning. What you're doing is is very, very generous, but it's not the first time you've done this. You did this also for Hurricane Harvey. So what prompted you to open your doors again? Well, Michael, the people were freezing in their homes. They had no heat, no electricity, and then compounded the problem with no water. They were freezing, and I talked to the mayor on Monday night. I said, can we do it Monday night? He said, the roads are too dangerous. And then Tuesday, he said, go ahead and open. And we had almost 1,000 people come in Tuesday, 300 spent the night Tuesday night. Same thing on Wednesday. So lots of people with lots of needs, and we are more than happy to open this furniture store to serve the community because that's why we exist. And, and, you know, we see people sleeping behind you, Jim. And, and from meeting all these people who have come into your store, can you get a sense of just how badly this has affected them? You know, they're not as traumatized as they were during Harvey when they had to wade through four feet of dirty water to get here. But they're just as emotionally distraught because the routine of home, the routine of, uh, of lights and water and being warm has been totally disrupted. They don't know when they're coming back to their house. They're calling almost every hour to the neighborhood or to the apartment complex. Are the lights back on? So their lives have been totally disrupted by this terrible power outage and the water shortage. So it's a tough situation, and we try to make it a little easier for them by getting them on a good Tempur-Pedic mattress, making sure they have lots of warm food and uh, lots of camaraderie here with 300 people here. 100 children, about 200 adults. Mm. And, and, and what makes it even more difficult, as you said, this is, the, this is in the middle of a pandemic. And of course, safety is always the concern. So what safety measures are in place? And does that mean that you have to limit how many people you can help? Well, we have about, when they walk in there, uh, mandatory hand sanitizing, mask are mandatory other than when I'm talking to you. And of course, uh, this is a cavernous store over 100,000 square feet. So even with four or 500 people in that we maintain a good six to eight distance. And as I was walking last night for security reasons, I saw people sleeping and it, I was amazed at the distance between one family to the next. So we've done a good job on the COVID precautions, not as good as we probably should, but we're working on it every day. Yeah. And, and you know, it, it required a lot to do this. So where are you getting the food, the water, the sweatshirts and the blankets? We're, we're buying them from some of our great vendors. The mayor, uh, Mayor Turner, donated a truckload of water. Uh, Kroger's donated a truckload of water today. We're buying food from wherever we get it. Almost 90% of the restaurants in Houston are closed. We spent four hours yesterday trying to find donuts, but uh, we've got some great vendors bringing in food. We have volunteers back there cooking the food along with our regular gallery furniture employees who work in our restaurant. So we're, we're going uh, almost 18 hours a day feeding these people and making sure they've got things to do. We had face painters out here, balloon artists yesterday for the kiddos. So it's a, it's a task trying to make sure these people can get their mind off the difficulty they're in and look forward to a better future tomorrow. Absolutely. And, and just one more question for you. Is there anything that you want Americans who are watching us right now, is there anything that, want, that you wanted to know about what is happening there in Texas? Well, I wanted to know, first of all, that your parents are some of the best customers of Gallery Furniture. And secondly, I'd like all Americans to know that one of our strengths is when adversity hits, we all tend to come together. We forget about our differences. We focus on our similarities and our commonalities. And that's what's happening in this crisis. As I was walking around last night talking to these people, all races, all colors, all creeds, all ages, they, they had that American optimism that tomorrow was going to be a better day. So I think we need to uh, uh, not focus on who's to blame for this crisis, but focus on how do we move forward and make Houston and Texas and the United States a better place by coming together and focusing on our similarities and helping each other have a better life. Jim, I always love your message. You're always doing good for other people. Really appreciate it. My, my mom's going to appreciate that shout out as well. So thank you so much, Jim. And um, we really appreciate your time this morning. Thanks, Mike. Great to talk to you. As always, you he too. He knows his customer base. He knows his customer base. <laughs> and I like it because, you know, as a son, I got to pay for mama's trip to the store. Oh, and anyway, the tagline is gallery furniture will save you money. <laughs> saves me some money. So I'm happy. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.